Hello everyone, it's Alex from Adventure Marine and today we're doing an unboxing on Kalini Beach. We'll be revealing our Vapor Ice Up. The conditions are perfect for paddleboarding today. It's 22 degrees according to the car. We've checked the weather, we've checked the tides. We're really excited to get going. We'll see you soon on the beach. Hi everyone, so here we are at Kalini Beach. I have the Aqua Marina Vapor, an inflatable paddle board, and it comes with everything in the package. So it comes with a double action hand pump, it comes with a zip bag, a fin, a paddle, and a safety lead. So that's everything included, and it's 379 for the full package. So here we go, I'm gonna open up the package. Careful not to rip anything inside. Have the bag, a beautiful zip bag. Comes with the paddle. A double action hand pump. A fin. And then in this bag here we have the safety leash, the instructions, a repair kit, and a device to tighten the valve and the ice. So before you get going with the inflation of the paddleboard, you need to use your valve connector and just make sure it's nice and tight. So as you can see, the valve's ready to go. So then the next part is the most important part and everyone makes this mistake at one point. You have to make sure that the valve is in the upright position. So it comes in the upright position. If you turn it and twist it, it's in the down position. And when you turn it around, it goes back into the upright position. And this makes sure the air can enter the paddleboard, but it won't come out when you take the nozzle away from the board. Now we're going to begin the inflation. So you put the valve in, make sure it's nice and secure, and then you start pumping. Now it takes about five to ten minutes to inflate the paddleboard, depending on your fitness level and how quickly you want to pump. So off we go. You'll notice that the gauge doesn't move for the first few pumps until the board gets its shape, because it's less than one psi. So there's plenty of pumping to do to get it up to that 15 psi. When it gets to 8 psi, we take the valve out and we continue to pump. So it's only pumping on the downstroke, which will make it much easier for the pump. So this is the Aquamarina Vapor fully inflated. It's 10 foot 6 in length, it's 6 inches thick, and it's 31 inches wide. And this would be ideally recommended for a, a rider of 85 kg, but the maximum payload is 140. If you need any specialized advice on this, give us a call or a text or WhatsApp, and we'll be happy to help you pick out the right board for you. So we're almost ready to hit the water, and the next step is to take the fin out of the packaging and to slide it into the board. So this is a very simple mechanism. All you have to do you slide the fin into the board, it goes in very easy. Get this clip and click, the fin's in. Make sure when you have your paddle board that you store it on the beach in this way. You don't have a flipped up because you could break your fin if any pressure is applied. So always have your board flat down when on the beach so no one can stand on your board and break the fin or worse, damage your board. 
So the next piece of equipment I'm going to show you is your safety leash. This is your lifeline and it's important that it's worn at all times. You put the leash, you loop it through, you put it through the hole and you pull it straight and make sure it's nice and secure. Finally, we're going to look at the Sports 3 paddle. As I said, all these pieces of equipment come in the package. Ideally, when you get out on the water, the paddle length, you should have a slight bend in your, in your arm and make sure that it fits well for you. Have the paddle face straight, but if you prefer, you can adjust it left or right, but we'd always recommend having it in a straight position and it's whatever suits you at the end of the day. So just check it, change it around, lower it or higher it, whatever suits. So everyone always asks, what way should you hold the paddle? So you should always have this design for this particular paddle facing away from you and the board. So if it was in the water, you'd be paddling like this. So we have our board set up and we're almost ready to hit the water. The final piece of advice I give you is the personal flotation device, your PFD. This does not come included with the package and the reason for that is people have different swimming abilities, different paddling abilities, different heights, different weights and it's really important to pick out the right personal flotation device for you. So today I'm wearing a personal flotation device that has no buckles on the front. It's very slim, it fits really well, there's not very much movement in it, but it's up to you to decide what you want. So if it's a life jacket, a buoyancy aid, or even one of these rest tubes, which can fit around your waist, and you just pull it like a life jacket on an airplane, and off we go. <laughs> so it depends on what meets your requirements. You can give us a call, or if you want any more advice, you can give us a ring, and we'll, we'll happily advise you on that. The final piece of advice I'd give you is to check your board. Obviously it's brand new out of the package, we've checked it. Make sure everything's intact and it's ready to go. The way to carry the board to the water is to have the paddle on your arm, hold the neoprene strap and have your safety leash connected. Make sure that you, you check your safety leash and make sure there's no seaweed on it before because as I said, it is your lifeline. You need to make sure that it's clean and it grips on your ankle. Okay, so once you're done all your fun, it's time to take off the fin and it releases just as easy as that, the clip, and it slides out just like that. So once you're done and you're preparing to put your board away, what we'd recommend is wash off any of the seawater like that. Make sure there's no grit sand on the board. Ideally, you can have a, a towel underneath. And then you dry it and you wash, wash off all the water. When you're deflating the board, make sure it's clear of water or grit. You release the valve like so. You press in the valve and you turn it to the left. So one of the really cool features of this pump, not only is it double action, we can actually put the hose in the bottom of the pump and suck all the air out of the board so it goes nice and neatly into the package. The great thing about this is you can fit all your equipment into it. You can fit your paddle in there, you can fit your leash, and you can fit your fin. And finally, you can pop your fin into the bag. Now we do have replacement parts for every single one of these pieces because things do go missing 
and we'll be happy to, to help you if you, if you lose your fin or any piece of equipment. We're just do this end of the phone, so we'll happy to help. So that's the unboxing complete. The Aquamarina Vapor is a really excellent board. It comes with everything for a beginner to hit the water. If it's in your weight classification, if it's in your price range, I'd really recommend the Aquamarina Vapor. So is that everything then? It's almost everything. The last thing I'd say is safety is paramount to what we do. So make sure that you look up safety information, that you have a means of communication before you hit the water, that you look at the weather and tides and you have experience hitting the water. Or if you have any questions, you can let us know and we'll point you in the right direction. Have fun on your sub and be safe. Thank you.